How to celebrate the history of Valentine's Day. Historians disagree on how February 14th became associated with love, leaving you free to borrow whatever rituals you want from the holiday's rumored roots. You will need the poem, The Parliament of Fowls, a handwritten love letter, a hand-painted Valentine's Day card, a heart to wear on your sleeve, and a singles party. Step one, read The Parliament of Fowls by Geoffrey Chaucer. The 14th century poem was inspired by the romance between Richard II and Anne of Bohemia. In it, Chaucer declares May 3rd, the couple's engagement date, an official day for lovers. The date also happened to honor St. Valentine. In 1400, Queen Isabel of France reportedly changed this day honoring lovers to February 14th. The Catholic Church recognizes several different saints named Valentine. Step 2. Handwrite a love letter, sign it from your Valentine, and have someone else slip it to your love. According to one popular legend, the holiday is in honor of a Catholic priest named Valentine who was put to death in the 3rd century for defying the Roman Emperor's ban on performing marriages for soldiers. Before he died, Valentine supposedly smuggled a love letter to his jailer's daughter with whom he'd fallen in love. Step 3. Give your Valentine a card that you make and paint yourself. Until an enterprising American woman named Esther Howland created a set of commercial Valentine's Day cards in the 1840s, they were handmade and most were hand-painted. Esther Howland made $5,000 the first year her Valentine's Day cards were available, a fortune at the time. Step 4. Wear your heart on your sleeve. Beginning on Valentine's Day, display the name of your love on your sleeve for a week. The expression comes from the Middle Ages when this tradition was practiced. Step 5. Not attached? Throw a singles party based on the ancient Roman fertility festival Lupercalia. Held every February 15th, single men and women were randomly matched by pulling names from an urn according to legend. In 498 AD, Pope Gelasius declared February 14th St. Valentine's Feast Day, some believe to usurp the pagan ritual. The festival included sacrificing a goat, but putting out a nice cheese platter would probably suffice. Did you know? England's King Henry VIII made Valentine's Day an official holiday in 1537. Valentine's, Day. Valentine's grams are fast approaching. You can buy roses or chocolates for your friends or significant other. You can also get a bouquet, a flower, or a combo order. Over the break, you can email your orders to us at hsgov at dayschina.org. And February 10th to 12th, orders after the 12th will not be accepted. And deliveries will be made on the 14th. Hey guys, Mrs. Peter here. I know some of you are huge fans of AMC's uh, new, not so new, series, The Walking Dead. And uh, we recently uh, made some contact with Stephen Yin. He plays the character Glenn on the show. Um, Stephen is from Korea. He's a great actor, great guy. And my cousin is here visiting. He's friends with him. And we're really fortunate that uh, Stephen sent a personal message back to the students um, of our school. And we would like to play that for you guys today. That's going to be one of the things we do. Uh, one of the things that we would like to do before the end of the week is sort of tape a video hello back to Stephen. So if you are interested in doing that, uh, send your face to Hollywood uh, with, uh, with our, our greetings to Stephen. Please let me know, okay? So here's our short clip with Stephen Yin. Thanks. Hi, Marsha and everyone at the Dalian American International School. Thank you for watching. We moved, we immigrated uh, when I, in, during 88, uh, 1988, and I was like five years old. So we moved to Canada first for a year because it's easier to immigrate there and we have family there. Then we moved to uh, Michigan right after that just because it's right off the border. And um, uh, we lived there, grew up, it was great. Um, in terms of how connected I am to South Korea, I, I come from a huge family. So my mom is the youngest of nine and my dad is the second oldest of five. Oh so gosh. I have over like, I have like 36 cousins. And uh, probably about 70% of my family lives out in Korea. So we go back and there's just so many, so much of my family out there, it's great. Basically, um, when I was attending college, I uh, joined the improv troupe there, and I just got 
sucked in and I loved it. And my senior year, I remember getting a bit of encouragement to not necessarily try it, but you know, see where this skill can take you because people were encouraging about what they saw. And um, <clears throat> basically from there, I told my parents, instead of going to med school, I wanted to go and try acting for a couple of years. And they were not happy <laughs> about that, of course. Um, but you know, my parents were very supportive and they were like, okay, we'll let you go for a couple years. And for me, it wasn't the mad dash to LA. Uh, for me, I just wanted to learn. So I went to Chicago and cut my teeth. Um, somehow, the second city let me play with them. And uh, I just cultivated my, my skills there. And